Adora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. If you were a kid in the 80s, Saturday mornings were sacred. They meant one thing, hours of uninterrupted cartoon bliss. These were the golden days when you'd grab a bowl of sugary cereal, plop down in front of the TV, and get lost in a world of animated adventures. Here are the top 10 cartoons that every 80s kid grew up with, each one a staple of the ultimate Saturday morning lineup. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget was the ultimate mix of clumsy detective work and high-tech gadgetry, all wrapped up in a trench coat and an inexplicably expandable hat. This animated series wasn't just a hit with kids. It introduced us to the iconic catchphrase, Go Go Gadget, and the mysterious, always hidden villain, Dr. Claw. Fun fact, the voice of Inspector Gadget was provided by Don Adams, who also played the equally bumbling secret agent, Maxwell Smart, in Get Smart, proving that clumsiness can be a career. Turbo Teen. Turbo Teen was an animated series that could only have come from the 80s, featuring a teenager who could transform into a car, a concept as bizarre as it was memorable. The show's premise, though far-fetched, was actually inspired by the popularity of Knight Rider and the idea of human-machine hybrids. Even with its short run, Turbo Teen became a cult classic, often remembered for its strange transformation sequences that are both fascinating and slightly unsettling even today. The Centurions. The Centurions took the phrase, power suits, to a whole new level, equipping its heroes with modular exoskeletons that could transform into powerful weapon systems. The show combined military hardware with superhero flair, creating a series that was as much about the toys as it was about the animated battles. Each episode was a tech lover's dream, featuring designs from some of the same minds that worked on G.I. Joe and Transformers because why settle for one franchise when you can influence them all? Shay ra Princess of Power. she ra Princess of Power, gave us a sword-wielding warrior princess who wasn't just He-Man's sister, but a feminist icon in her own right. She led the rebellion against the evil horde on Etheria, all while maintaining a wardrobe that would make any 80s fashionista proud. Created as a spin-off to appeal to a young female audience, she ra became a cultural touchstone and the series' blend of fantasy and empowerment is still celebrated today, especially with the Netflix reboot paying homage to the original. Defenders of the Earth Defenders of the Earth united Flash Gordon, the Phantom, and Mandrake the Magician in a team-up that only the 80s could have imagined. What set this show apart was its crossover appeal, pulling in characters from different comic strips into one universe, a concept well ahead of its time. And let's not forget the catchy theme song, co-written by Stan Lee himself, which still gets stuck in your head after all these years. Dennis the Menace. The 1986 Dennis the Menace animated series brought the mischievous boy from the comic strips back to the small screen with an 80s twist. What made this version unique was how it expanded Dennis's world, giving his antics a modern update while keeping the charm that made the character a household name. Surprisingly, this series also marked the first time Dennis's dog, Ruff, played a more significant role, solidifying him as an essential part of Dennis's escapades. Mighty Orbots. Mighty Orbots was a one-season wonder that's still remembered fondly by fans of 80s animation. This series combined the popular giant robot genre with a team dynamic reminiscent of Voltron, but what really made it stand out was its smooth animation and vibrant art style, courtesy of TMS Entertainment, a studio known for its high-quality work. Though it only lasted 13 episodes, Mighty Orbots made a lasting impact, with its unique design and storytelling setting it apart from other robot-themed shows of the era. Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats took the scrappy, street-smart feline from the comics and paired him with a gang of alley cats who had more charisma than most humans on TV. This show didn't just deliver laughs. It solidified Heathcliff as the original bad boy cat before Garfield hogged all the lasagna. The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin 
the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin brought the animatronic bear from the toy store shelf to the small screen, weaving a surprisingly complex narrative for a children's show. It featured storylines that spanned multiple episodes, something quite rare for 80s cartoons. The series was produced by DIC Entertainment, known for cranking out hits like Inspector Gadget and The Real Ghostbusters. And yes, Teddy's moving mouth and blinking eyes were just as mesmerizing on TV as they were in toy form. Alvin and the Chipmunks Alvin and the Chipmunks revived the 1958 singing trio and turned them into an 80s pop culture phenomenon. Not only did the show spawn several chart-topping albums, but it also introduced us to the Chipettes, who quickly became icons in their own right. The series ran for eight seasons, and its Christmas album still gets radio play every December. Alvin, Simon and Theodore have a staying power that's hard to beat.